In some cases, you may need to use a measure inside a slicer. In other words, when you change the selection of a slicer, the measure used inside a visual is also changed. Like this case, we have a measure representing the total sales by category. Now it is showing the period sales. But if I wanted to show the year-to-date sales, I can just toggle this slicer to just present the year-to-date sales. Let's go directly and see how we can do this together. I have a very simple model. I have only two tables. First one is just the transaction table. It's a sales table containing fifth transaction. I have the net sales value. I have the date, category, and also the product. The other table is calendar table. Just I have the date and some classification for the date. I already created a couple of measures in order to just sum up the net sales. I call this measure period net sales. I just used the sum function in order to calculate or to add up the column net sales from sales table. I have also another measure called year to date net sales. And I use the function total YTD in order to calculate the year to date net sales. If you go to the report view, I already created a very basic visual. It's a bar chart showing the net sales categorized by category. And also I created a couple of slicers, one for the year and one for the month. Suppose that you want to show also the year to date net sales on the same report. You have several options. One of them just to add another visual like this one. It's a copy of the original one, but just selecting the year to date net sales measure instead of period net sales measure. Actually, there is another way just to add another slicer. And this slicer will show you both options, either period or year to date. Once you select one of them, it will present the year to date net sales or the period net sales based on your selection on the same visual. Let's go together and give it a try. At the very beginning, I will start by just adding a new table. This table will have only one column and this column will contain only two values. First value, I'm going to call it period and the other value, I'm going to call it year to date. And I'm going to use this column inside a slicer. I'm going to use a very simple DAX function in order to create a new table. So from home ribbon, I'm going to select new table. This will prompt me to the formula bar. I'm going to give any name for this table. Let me call it slicer and then equal. I'm going to use a function called data table. This function required a name for a column. I need only one column. So I'm going to define only one name. Let me call this column choice and then comma. The type will be string for sure. And then comma, I need to enter the data. I'm going to use double curly brackets and double quote. Let me add the first value. It will be period and then close the curly bracket comma the second value will be year to date close the curly bracket twice close the bracket for data table and hit enter and here you go we have a new table called slicer and if you check the values let's go to the data view if you check the values we have only two values one called period and the second one called year to date so far so good let's go back to our data view i'm going to add a new slicer i'm going to click anywhere in the empty canvas and I'm going to select a slicer and this slicer I'm going to use the new field the choice I put it here and here you go I have a choice either period or year to date let me do a quick alignment the very next step is to try to capture the value selected by this slicer I'm going to do so using a new measure so from home tab I'm going to a new measure this will prompt me to the formula bar let me call this measure selection equal. I'm going to use a very basic function called selected value. The only argument required is a column name. The column name for sure will come from the newly created table slicer and the only column that we have, which is basically choice. Let me type choice here is table slicer and column choice. I'm going to close the bracket and use the check mark. Let me change the home table for this measure. I'm going to select the measures table. Now this measure is ready. I can just try to test it. I'll not be using this chart anymore. So I'm going to select and from visualization pane, I'm going to change this visual into a card. So I'm going to select the card. Now it is showing 2.8 million for year to date sales. I'm going to X this field out. Instead, I'm going to select the newly created measure selection. And here you go. It is showing now year to date. Let me now try to select the period as well. So I'm going to select both values. You will notice that the value coming from this measure is blank. If I select neither of them, 
also the value is blank i have to select either period or year to date so it is now proper that i turn on the single select option for this slicer in order to force this slicer always to give me either period or year to date no blank and no multiple values so i'm going to select the slicer and from visualization pane i'm going to select the format tab and from slicer setting i'm going to select selection i'm going to turn on single select now i'm forced to select either period or year to date and i cannot deselect both options and this is exactly will set me up to the final step i'm going to create a new measure again i'm going to select the measure table right click and new measure this will prompt me to the formula bar i'm going to call this measure total sales inside this measure i'm going to use the switch function so i'm going to type switch the first parameter is an expression the expression will be the value captured from the slicer which is basically inside the measure selection so i'm going to open a square bracket to capture this measure selection and then comma and then value number one so i'm going to compare the value selected with the value period and then comma result one if the value captured is period i'm going to use the period net sales measure so i'm going to open other bracket in order to capture the period net sales measure and then comma the second value I'm going to test will be YTD between double quotes YTD and then comma. In this case, I'm going to use the other measure, which is basically YTD net sales, square bracket and select YTD net sales and then comma. The catch all value or the value if none of these values captured will be a blank and then close the bracket for switch and the check mark. Now I can change the measure used inside this visual. So I'm going to select the visual and from the visualization pane from the field section, I'm going to X out period net sales. And instead I'm going to use the total sales. And here you go. Now I'm selecting year to date, year 2016 and the month of December. You can see the value is 4 million. If I select the period, you'll see the value of 300,000 or 0.33 million. I can change the selection of the month, selection of the year, and I can toggle between year to date and period and all working dynamically. That was all. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, leave a comment and check the other videos in the channel. See you in the next video and bye.